recommend buying in bulk because you get things for so much cheaper. I know a lot of blog shop owners, they go down to City Plaza to source for their items for their website. It's a wholesale mall, so they have a lot of small vendors that sell their pieces at wholesale prices or retail prices. I've been to the editor's market a couple of times. There's one in Cafe Cineleisure and they also have an online store. They sell clothes at retail prices, but if you buy three pieces, you get a cheaper price, and six pieces, you get an even cheaper price. One tip that I have is to shop at unconventional beauty stores like Daiso because you can try a lot of products and it's great for people who are just starting out with makeups. For example, one of the safer products are their eyelashes. No matter what I've done to them, I pull them, I wash them, they still seem to be okay. Their products are really cheap and it's value for money. And of course, since it's made in Japan, the hygiene level is very high. I recommend uh, buying beauty products from neighborhood stores. A few places I usually go to is like Pink Beauty. Beauty language. Also, this place called Swanston in Chinatown. The products they sell are really, really wide in range and they are really a lot cheaper. And if on your way home, like when you're sitting the train from school or from work, if you pass a Watson's or Guardian, I recommend that you pop by and check out the bargain bin. One tip I have uh, would be to redeem samples from Sample Store where you get to try the product before you buy the full size item so you get to save money in the sense that you don't buy the wrong product. They have the sponsor samples section where you get to redeem free samples even without paying any postage fee. For the other samples in their other sections, you will need to pay a postage fee of 5 dollars for 4 to 5 samples. For online shopping, I prefer going to a well-known, trusted brand. These are blog shops who have been in the blogosphere for like some time already. They have good quality and their prices are reasonable. For me, I feel that Q10 has a lot more cheaper stuff than any other cases because they have so many merchants around. Well, it's kind of like 20 to 30% lower than the outside market. So another website that I would recommend is Taobao. Yeah, it's very similar to Q10 but it's from China and currently it ships everything to Singapore. I think we with Taobao, most of them, or quite a large number of them, are wholesalers. So when you cut out the intermediaries by buying straight from them, it gets a lot cheaper for you. One tip I have is to shop with SG Shop, an online purchasing agent. It's a more convenient and less tedious channel of shopping with Chinese e-shopping sites like Taobao. My personal experience of ordering from SG Shop took around one week from ordering to receiving my items. They have a membership program where you get to accumulate points. In exchange, you can exchange for vouchers and delivery options can be at MRT stations where it's free of charge. So do make full use of this service if your item is below 5kg. One of the tips is to visit free markets more often because uh, that's where people sell their pre-loved items at a fraction of the cost. You really get to see a variety of styles there. Try to visit free markets at a later timing because that's when the sellers, uh, they slash their prices. I get uh, information about free markets through a website called forfreesake.com. It's a newsletter so you'll get emails from them as well. <laughs> There's been a new trend and people are actually doing selling on Instagram. Yeah, I've gotten like 50% and more discount from resellers for brand new pieces. Another tip that I have for shoppers who shop at Capital Land malls very often would be to use the Capital Star app to scan the receipts of any purchases above $20 to accumulate points in exchange for Capital Mall vouchers to offset your future shopping. It's free to download, so you actually save $64. So one tip I have for Singaporeans to save money is to look for places which do not charge GST. 